Here we are! Oh, man. Alright, what'd I miss? Well, like I said, Bandicoot, um, right to work in Michigan doesn't actually sound like what it is. It doesn't mean like, oh, you know, this gives people work. What it basically is, is it's a fancy way of saying it's the right for the employer to deny or allow people to work, which is what gave my employer the, um, the legal backing to be able to come up to me and say, you have to start dressing more masculine, and you have to stop wearing makeup, or we're firing you. Like... Wait, no! Lizzo, you're lying! I heard today, today, I heard that it was being released on... Wait, I thought it was like March, I thought it was earlier in March. But I could swear today I heard that it was still being released in March. What are you talking about, Lizzo? Lay it on me here. What do you know that I don't know? Give them no quarter. Hey, Chow Yun. Uh, and sorry, I, again, if I'm messing up your name, that's what I do. So, well, thank you, Bandicoot. I appreciate that. I just went upstairs and looked and went, oh, God, my, you know. It's, I need to get new makeup, so. Oh, okay, thank you, Lizzo. I was gonna say, I thought it was coming out March 21st, which in a way kind of made me happy, because with the new stream schedule I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna be playing The Witcher every single day. And that should mean we get done with Witcher hopefully sooner. So what's gonna happen is I'm either gonna start playing Mass Effect in the afternoon stream, maybe, and allowing me to, um... I don't know what to do with you now, because you have such crappy skills. Um, or maybe we'll finish The Witcher before then, and be able to get through Mass Effect, so that we'll be ready for Andromeda. Because that gives me, like, a little over three months. Um, gives me a little over three months, though, to uh, get ready for uh, Andromeda. Okay, so for anyone who is a regular here but isn't familiar with it, I'm changing my stream schedule starting this Saturday. What it's going to be is I'm splitting up into two different streams per day. There's going to be an afternoon stream from 12 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. And I really do need to look at that to just... I should start listing all of my times into, like, common time, uh, GMT. But as of right now, I haven't done that. Um, but, uh, and then I will be doing my second, my evening stream at my normal time. So, for people who are here for the evening stream, you won't notice any difference. Uh, but I will be streaming more often. I will be adding an afternoon stream. So, hey, welcome back, Swallow. So, basically, what that's going to mean for the stream is I'm well, probably going to be doing The Witcher every the evening the for, like, four hour hours. Likes. And it's going to be Witcher 3. We finished Witcher 2 last time. Um, I checked it out this morning. Witcher 3 is working fine. Uh, I see no problems with going ahead with it, and it should be a lot of fun. And in the afternoons, we'll be doing things probably like RimWorld, Darkest Dungeon... Possibly Dead by Daylight. And, uh... And maybe... I'm not sure when we would be doing Mass Effect. Like, as it gets closer to March, I'll figure out if we have time. I know, Slim. Witcher 3 is going to be so long. Which means in the evening... Yes, as in the White-Haired Manhunt. That is correct, Frozen. And if it's anything like Witcher 2, that means I'm going to be running around as naked as possible for as much of the game as I can possibly manage it. So... Geralt is... A choice cut of meat. So. He's a looker. Let's get rid of your blight. Which one am I going to carry through? I want to carry through the one where we saved Letho. But if, you know, if I accidentally pick the wrong file or what have you, um, then that's the just what we're going to go with. Because 
Because honestly, after talking to Letho and being like, yeah, like listening to his reasons, it was just work, and I don't hold that against him whatsoever, like not even a little bit. He's right, and when he said, he's like, yeah, I had multiple opportunities to kill you and to kill Triss, and like, I didn't. It wasn't part of my job. So... He seems like okay people, other than, you know, the mass murdering of peoples. But, you know. Well, unfortunately, Swallow, a lot of people say things like that online about a lot of things. I mean, Blizzard got a lot of crap, a whole bunch in World of Warcraft for skimpy armor. They got a lot of crap in uh, when Overwatch was first coming out, because the first draft of Zarya... Or no, a lot of their earlier female characters were very standard sexualized females. And so then they came out with um, Zarya, who was supposed to be like, in your face, big buff Russian woman, and people still criticize it, saying, yeah, but she's too sexy, because apparently you can't be sexy and buff, I guess. I, in any case, people are always complaining on the internet, and yes, I can see how some people say that, because I do admit, in Witcher 1, pretty much every woman that you had any kind of dealings with became a potential sex target, and so, like, in Witcher 1, you spend a lot of your game going... Hey, look, it's a woman. Can I sleep with her? Witcher 2 didn't do that nearly as much. Like, it really did focus a bit more on the, like, well, I'm with Triss, and I'm looking for Yennefer, and there is the occasional hookup, and these things happen. Sorry, that's sexy. Oh, good lord. Wolf, stop reading books. What is wrong with you? incentive to sleep around I've ever heard. Nice meeting you. Here's my card. Nice meeting you. Here's my card. Oh, for you? You get two cards. Bam! Yeah, you know what? I was actually kind of disappointed in Witcher 2 that we didn't even get to see Yennefer. We got to see a little bit of Yennefer. Whoa! Another Corrigian's charm. Ha ha! But the most we saw of Yennefer was a little bit in a flashback concerning the Wraiths. So I know that she's a white woman with black hair. That's all I know about her. Oh, and that she's apparently also a summoner, or sorceress. Like, I was kind of hoping we'd actually get to see Yennefer in the second game. Because the game is, seems to really be gearing up towards like, oh, Geralt's gonna have to choose between Triss and Yennefer, or I suppose the third game could introduce more women. But, like, we still haven't seen her. So, I mean, that means I'm going to have two games of being with Triss versus having to, like, look into Yennefer. It's going to be, like, Mass Effect all over again, okay? Like, they did some nasty shit, excuse my language, in uh, Mass Effect 3 where, like, first game, I ended up not being with anybody because all I wanted to do was be with Tali. Second game, I was with Tali. Third game, they threw... Um, I'm gonna mispronounce his name, but Caden out of me, at me out of nowhere, and I was so heartbroken to have to break his heart. Like, ah, it killed me, but I couldn't, like, stab, um, Tali in the back. Killed me! Killed me! Oh, good, two points of healing. You know, if we didn't have that Corrigian's term, that would have been one point of healing in addition to his bleed, just saying. So... I saved Caden? Of course I did. I'm sorry, but as far as I'm concerned, yes, Ashley and Caden were both soldiers, but like, who the fluff saves Caden? I do. And I believe his name is spelled with an I, thank you very much. Um, did you, Lizzo? Okay, I will buy that, Lizzo. That was something that they kind of threw at, at you in the third game. That's why I was so surprised by it. I have nothing against someone being gay or bi, obviously. But I mean, like, in the third game, like, well, except when you talk to him about his reasons, he's like, you know, while I was in the hospital, I did a lot of thinking. He's like, and I realized, you know, that, like, oh, shiza, we don't have any food. Well, if we make it to this room, 
he could bleed out before we get there. I wasn't super... The thing is, though, when it comes down to it, between picking between Caden and Ashley, Ashley was a soldier who already made it through one huge ordeal where her entire squad was killed. I didn't want her put want to put her through that situation again where like a bunch of people ended up dying because of her unit. Teetering on the brink. And then what's more Based than that? God, this is so bad. Here's the deal, everybody. If I take one more step towards the door, he's going to take bleed damage and he's going to have to do a death uh, blow resist. If we get into this room, we beat the dungeon because we only need to explore one more room. I mean, that's the problem I'm looking at. But yeah, anyway, yeah, Ashley has already been through so much and she was just basically like, listen, I know what I'm doing. Just save Caden and go. We're gonna risk it. Oh, they didn't bleed. Ha! Ha ha! You know what? I thought for a second there they were gonna show me a secret room or something, and then I was just gonna like throw Wolf's pathetic life away. While Caden, you know, was just like, hey, we're doing our job, we're all here for each other, we can all like I just I don't feel like he has gone through the same kind of trauma, and I just don't feel like he was prepared like she was. I mean, I guess that's not really right to say because anyone who's with Shepard should be prepared to die. You know, you're on a mission to save the universe people are gonna die, but still. The only reason you saved Ash was to sleep with her on your femship. In time, you will know so. the tragic extent of my failings. See, that's fun, Lizzo, to try and, like, roleplay some of that stuff. It's cool. Ugh, I can't stand Miranda. Ugh, Jack was cool, though. Wait, Flash? Ah! Savior of the universe! Thank you, Frozen. Oh, I'm so glad. Flash. Barbaric rage and unrelenting. We've got everything except a jester now and a grave robber. We got us here, frozen away. The coffee junkie's estate. 